Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to run macros in Excel. So let's first create a very simple macro and then I'll show you different ways to execute or run that macro. So I'll press Alt F11. It will open the VB editor, back end of VB editor and here I can uh, type the code. So here I have book one which is the workbook that is open. I would right click on any of these objects, go to insert module and in the module window code I will write the code that I want to execute. So let's say it'll, it is sub highlight cell and I would write a very simple single line code which is active cell dot interior dot color is equal to VB red. What this would do is it will simply highlight the selected cell in red color. So it's a very simple one line code. Now let's see different ways you can execute this macro or run this macro. Uh, the first way is you can simply within this VB editor you can just select any of the lines in the code and go to this green button in the in this toolbar. So here I have the VB editor and I have this toolbar. Here you have this green button which is a run sub or user form. Sub is the sub routine that we have created. So you can click here or you can use the keyboard shortcut F5 and see what happens when I select any of the these lines here and run this. You can see that the cell that is selected turns red and you can try this multiple times. So I'll come here and I'll click on this and you can see that this code is running. So this is the first way of uh, running the code. Another way of, of running this code would be to go to the developer tab and go to macros and when I click on it, it opens the macro dialog box and it will list all the macros that are there in this workbook. So I have to simply select the one that I want to run. Highlight cell is the name of the macro that we created and I can click on run and when I do that, this macro gets executed. Let's try this again. I go to the developer tab, macros, select the macro, click run and it will be executed. The third way of uh, running a macro is assign it to a shape. So in this case, let's go to insert and here I would insert a shape. Let's say this rectangle and I can type anything here. So for example, I can come here, edit text and I can say highlight cell or any descriptive name that is representative of the macro. That is what it is going to do. And Let's quickly format it. Now I would right click on this shape, go to assign macro and this opens the assign macro dialog box. It's very similar to the macro dialog box we just saw. And here again, it will show you all the macros that are there in this workbook. Simply select the one that you want to assign to this shape and click on OK. And now when you do this, you can see that there is this hand icon, this clickable icon that appears and this cell is selected. When I click on this, it gets highlighted. So in this case, the macro is to highlight the active cell. In your case, whatever the macro is, that will be run. And the fourth way is by assigning a keyboard shortcut to the macro. So in this case, again, let me come to the developer tab and here in macros, I have selected this macro, which is highlight cell. In this case, there is only one. If you have many, select the one for which you want to assign the keyboard shortcut and go to options. And here, you will see it says keyboard shortcut. Now you have to specify the keyboard shortcut. In this case, let's say I want it to be control shift R for red and this keyboard shortcut would now be assigned to that macro and I can simply click on OK and close this. Now see what happens. I select this cell and I press control shift and R and as soon as I do this, this cell gets highlighted. So you can use this keyboard shortcut. Just be a bit cautious because this keyboard shortcut would now only be used for the macro. So for example, control C is for copying, but if you assign control C for this macro, you'll not be able to copy it using control C. So just be cautious and, and try and be a bit more unique when you're, when you're using these keyboard shortcuts. So these are the four ways that we have seen. The first one is using the VB editor. You go to the green button in the toolbar. The second way is using uh, the macro dialog box. The third way is using this shape and the fourth way is using a keyboard shortcut. So these are the ways you can use to run a macro in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.